American Jews and non-Jews. This message is for you. A hundred years ago, the Jews of Iraq were 3% of the population. They lived there for millennia and are prosperous and well-integrated, holding prominent positions in government, economy, culture, and more. Until one day, the non-Jewish population decided they were all Zionists, colonialists, and enemies of the people. Those anti-Semitic, sorry, anti-Zionist mobs became violent, starting to physically attack and kill them in their homes. When the official government persecution began, with rigged trial, restrictions on Jewish life, and sacking of all Jewish civil servants, they knew they had to flee. The Iraqis confiscated all their many possessions, revoked their citizenship, and sent them away as penniless refugees. This turned out to be a disaster for Iraq. Deprived of many of its prominent merchants and key economic figures, the Iraqi economy tanked, and the whole country was plunged into a dictatorship, followed by a series of horrible wars and civil wars up until this very day. Today, Iraq has less than five Jews. The country is a shadow of its former self and mostly lies in ruins. And the Iraqi Jews? Despite many of them fleeing with nothing but their clothes, they recovered fast enough and today live happily as a well-integrated community in the prosperous state of Israel. So, my dear American viewers, Jews and non-Jews alike, if there was any moment in history worth learning from today, I think last century's Iraq was exactly it.